not a lot of people know. I'm going to teach you how to do it. And do it properly. First of all, you got to get right up in the camera. And then you got to get the focus perfect. Here's a hand to represent Katie's face. Because that's how big it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then the, who's doing it? We both say hi, guys. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, I mean, who's explaining that? You can explain it. I'll explain the last one. Okay. Okay. Hi, Hi guys. guys! And today we are going to do a Q&A video. That's right. So we've got our lovely assistant, aka our cousin, down here Natasha. under the camera. She's out of view. Yes. Oh look, there's, there's a hand. hand. <laughs> and yes, we're just going to answer some of your questions. And yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Question one. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Oh dear. That is very Probably a bear because then you, you die quicker. Whereas with like a swarm of bees, you said you're gonna die. <laughs> well like a bear's attacked. gonna kill you. I would rather get killed by a bear than get continually stung by bees. I'd rather attacked by a bear. Stinging you, the thing is, I don't like little. I don't like little pain when I'm getting a lot of it. I like just like being whacked or being knocked out, kind of thing. So I guess, I guess, I guess there. Do you always smile for pictures? Is that like your go-to pose? Yes, it's my go-to pose. Yeah, I always or... start off with a smile because if I don't feel happy enough to take a photo, then I'm just like again not in the mood. Or I do a pout. It depends what mood I'm in. I kind of always go with a smile first and then stop, go on with other poses. It's like. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Have you ever peed in the pool? Yes, yes. Repeatedly, no. <laughs> Not at the same go. Oh, what? At the same time. Like, in like an hour or something. See, I've done it out of the pool as well. By accident. Yeah. And we're waiting oh, in a queue. Yeah, absolutely bursting to go to the toilet. And it, basically, we're all sitting on a bench at our class in like I don't know what year we were in. And um, I remember I was like, I'm so I just need to go. I, I couldn't ask my teacher because she's like, it was just you couldn't. It's just like no, because we have to wait. We have to do like the health instructions so you know like yeah. anything goes wrong. So then one person goes in the pool, then the next person, then the next person, and then you're like doing your swimming length, like the length of the pool you're swimming. And I just remember sitting on the bench, I was like, I need the toilet, and I just let it go. <laughs> and then I moved up one, and then the next person in line basically sat in what I just did. <laughs> and I was like, awkward. I'm sure loads of people, I don't know. I mean, you did the same thing, didn't you? Exactly the same thing, yeah. yeah. What movie could you watch over and over and still love? <gasps> That's so hard, because I love the films. I'm such a film geek. So many films I can think of. I was actually thinking of this. The Lion King? The Lion King maybe, or oh, maybe Leap Year. I will always love Leap Year. Absolutely love that film. Um, what else could I watch over and over again? Star Wars? Princess Diaries. Yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. Princess Diaries. Like, but the thing is with Harry Potter, you have to watch all of them. You can't just watch one film. Because it's just like, yeah. Is that one you can watch next? So yeah. But Princess Diaries, you can watch one Princess I could probably watch number one. Maybe. And you wouldn't have to watch the next one. No. Even though they're both brilliant. Brilliant. Films. Yeah. Or you can watch number two over and over again. Yeah. Now they're bringing out number three. Yeah. Okay. See? Wasn't the only one who did that. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I did hear about it like a couple of years ago. Yeah, but, but I then know. I forgot about it. Yeah. Can you curl your toe? Yes, I can. I can do that. <laughs> you can flip your tongue over. Um, what was the last concert you saw? Ah, <laughs> perfect question. Oh, was it Claire? The last concert I saw was Little Mix. Yeah, yeah two weeks, weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks and ago. And it was a surprise for this one. Yes. And it was one of the last concerts I ever did. Surprise for this one. <laughs> this little bobby head. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Oh, I'm See, neither. There was this thing for so long. I loved dogs when I was little. And everyone used to say, oh, you want a dog calendar, a dog calendar. But I kind of went off them for ages, and then I was like, no, I'm, I'm a cat person. So I guess I'm a bit of both, but I think I think I'd rather have a cat. 
like I love dogs and I love Sophie which is my grandma's dog and I can she's very good at learning tricks from me but she's good at learning tricks from you I'm just saying that I just feel like we have a connection <laughs> this connection where she understands me so but yeah I would rather have a cat because I can just sit there and read a book and stroke a cat and a dog would be all over me licking my face so I don't want that when I'm reading a book well I used to hate cats um, because I had a bad experience with a cat when I was little and then so like I didn't like picking them up or anything like, I just didn't like it and then we had, we had to look after cats while my brother was on his mission and we looked after this mummy cat and ever since then I started liking cats but I still like dogs so yeah I'm a dog and a cat person I can't decide I'd have both I'd have like five dogs and two cats this serious question like this could decide whether people hate you or like you <laughs> do you sleep with your socks on? no <laughs> yes no see I don't because every time I do my left foot, my left sock, will not have a sock on in the morning. It'll be gone. It falls off. It falls off every time. It literally I does. don't understand I it. I actually don't understand it. Like, I get up and I'm just like, why have I got one sock off, one sock on? Where is my sock on? And it <clears throat> ends up being, like, at the end of my bed or off my bed. I'm just like, how did that happen? Every time. So I don't wear socks, no. Me, on the other hand, I tend to do it if it's cold. Because yeah. my feet get really cold. I have really bad circulation, so my feet get really cold. But it's also very bad to wear socks in bed, though. It's a bad thing for your feet. What is your favourite thing to dip your chicken nugget in? Ooh, at McDonald's. Any, just, any sauce. At McDonald's, I like to have sweet and sour or barbecue. Yeah, I think barbecue or ketchup. Tomato, sweet, tomato sauce, that is. <laughs> barbecue or tomato. <laughs> have you ever stolen a mini shampoo or conditioner from a hotel? I'm reading the question. <laughs> um, yes. Well, I guess we actually still have. Hold on. Yeah, we still have the Egyptian ones. Yeah. And we went to Egypt in 2010. So that's six years. Can you actually? No, it isn't. This is the one that I got in Vienna. Okay. No, not six years. We did have these for quite a while, though. Yes. The Egypt ones. Yes. So. Oh this from the Mercury. Beauty. Mercury, um, when I went to Vienna, I used to have got it. What's it smell? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's gooey! <laughs> I don't really know. It smells a bit like Bonjella. It does actually. Ever so slightly. And vanilla. Don't you think? No, it's actually smell. Mmm, it's like Bonjella and vanilla. Bonjella. Yeah, yeah, vanilla and Bonjella. There you go, vanilla Bonjella. It wasn't as good as the, um, as the stuff we got from Egypt. No, that stuff in it's Egypt true. was in insane. It was so good. It just worked. It was like glossy hair all the time. Have you ever stolen slash vandalised a street sign? No. No. Easy answer. No. 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 Really? Not like no of. Do you want me to read out his question? Okay, so to you. Yeah. So we just received a question from Ashley Davidson, uh, or Ash, as we like to call him, um, and it's directed at Claire. Claire, <laughs> <laughs> what are you most looking forward to about your about Barbados, and what will be the most thing you miss about Leicester? Hey, I think the thing that I'm most excited for <laughs> about Barbados. <laughs> is um, the culture. I'm really excited to see what the culture is like and you know how how different like the families work as a unit and stuff because I've heard a lot of stuff about how like the kids are very respectable there because the parents are very strict but it's like in a respectable way. Like I know that they have, when they go into like cafes they have to say um, good morning or good afternoon or whatever to every single person in the cafe before they can order. So yeah it's just very respectful. Yeah. Imagine if you did that in like McDonald's. <laughs> what will happen? The uh, thing that I'm going to miss most about Leicester. Um, <laughs> probably just like the streets in general. Like I love the area that I live in, and because I, I go like running and walking, 
and in the mornings just to wake myself up and I just, I just enjoy that so I guess like, the familiarity is like the streets that I walk around. Yeah. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? That's a good one. Not made off, I'm kidding. <laughs> Probably in like the furry parts of our attic. Like, 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 like further than arm's reach. Yeah. <laughs> so me to know and you to find out, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't think I'd bury it on this property. Because I think it would be too obvious to rake. Mm. So I think it would be... Maybe it's someone that I It would like. be, no, it would be either at my previous house. So where I lived as a really... They're going to be rich then. <laughs> bebe. I lived at a bebe. What? They're going to be rich then if they find it. No, well, on. yeah. <laughs> or... Um, Grand's grave. Maybe, maybe not so. Maybe not so like um, familiarised though, because then they're going to chase everything yeah, down to, do to some, the family. So do maybe do just somewhere like, completely out of the blue. Say, like, no, like, I know exactly where. Yeah. It would be the first. It would be the first time I ever heard Paramore, because no one knows where that was except for Paramore. Like, they probably don't mind. I don't know where you are. Okay, well there you go then. You know oh, where my treasure is. Where you first heard. Where it first listened and heard Paramore so. and was like, oh, I like these, these really are really good. good. Last question. When was the last time you cried so much because you were so happy? <laughs> Mine would be when I went to Little Mix. I was going to say that as well. <laughs> you didn't cry. Hardly. I think today was the most time you've cried of happiness. Happiness? Oh. No, it was a bit, it was a mixture of both, I don't know what it was. Kind of happiness was at the concert, and you didn't see me crying because you were in front of me and facing the stage. So you wouldn't know if I cried. <laughs> cried of happiness, like real, 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 real. I have no idea. Um, pure emotion. Pure. Happy. Yeah. No. I don't know. Oh, when I went the Christmas stuff. Oh, it's very recent. Yes. <laughs> and my other friend, which happens to be my sister, Katie. Hi. And then we got Christopher, who's poking his head into the video. He's probably going to hit me with his shirt. Here it comes. Girl? Yeah? What do you want to drink? <laughs> I would like Coca-Cola and uh, cherry, please. Vanilla! Cherry? Vanilla? Vanilla Coca-Cola! 
do you want to say? It is Cherry you've got, right? And, and Tasha wants vanilla as well. When an ex, Claire when an ex goes too far, adds you on good rings. What does Claire want? I wanted Coca-Cola. We haven't got any. Cherry. Coca-Cola. Basket. <laughs> Open it. No, don't throw it. There you go. Like it's... Like it's... <laughs> the first place. Be careful, because you, if you want to... Hello? Oh, Chris. Oh, welcome to the game. I would have gone in if the window was shut. Put that back on. Put the lid back on. Why do the windows that wide open? Oh no, I'm shutting them. I can actually pull it. They're already open. Oh my god.